Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to create a lollipop chart. So first of all, it is always about how you design the data structure here. So here I'm going to randomly create some data here. So let's just create two records here. And then a scores. For example, this is five or this is six. And then for a lollipop chart, I want to have a, a range for this, uh, let's say a lower bound for this um, score. So my lower bound for five will be three, and then my lower bound for six should be, let's type in ren, okay. So with, um, so this will be my vertical or horizontal axis and then this will this part will define my um, vertical axis. So it is always important to understand your data structure before you go to visualization. With um, careful design, um, you can make your, your work um, easier or even uh, with different design you can get different types of visualization since Tableau is a data-driven a data driven tool. So always make sure you understand your data structure before you, you push into Tableau. Okay, so, okay, let me save my data first. Okay, and then now go to Tableau and connect to the file. Okay, so first thing, check the data type. Make sure it read it as a as a date format, and then we have two um, value here, which is a uh, measure. So now we can go ahead to create our lollipop chart. So I should have two dots when I convert this to quarter, and then drag in the score here. So for the lollipop lollipop chart I'm going to make this a circle first and then increase the size now drag in the measure value to the second part remove the unnecessary um, pills so now let's convert this to a bar chart and then make sure that they're not stacking and then your lower bound should be in the front. If you still recall, if you if you have watched my previous video, I have talked about this part. So for this bar chart here, they are actually showing two different layers. So let's say your score is higher than your lower bound. So you should always make sure that the score is at the back of the layer. And then your lower bound, which is less than your score, should be in the in front of your second second layer. Or you can have more than multiple layers, but make sure you understand their order of the bar. So now let me reduce the size of the bar. And then drag the pill to color to make sure that um so so uh, by default, you can see that um, um, the score is actually 5. And then if you look at to the bar, it is uh, all the way from 0 to 5. And then you, want to, you only want to show what's the difference between the score to the lower bound, which is uh, 3 minus 3. So you only want to show this part. And actually, it is the... Um, the yellow part, which is the difference between the score and the lower bound. So in order to do that, you want to hide um, the the area here, which is by uh, which is we are using the same technique as my previous as in my previous video, which is to make this part as um, white color. So okay. So now I'm going to change the color here, make the lower bound as white to make it disappear and make the score 
the same color as my、uh, pill, or as my、uh, as the as the circle here. So let's say I want to make it as blue. Then I'm going to combine them together as dual axis. Synchronize. Um, I think there's something wrong with this part. So usually, if you cannot synchronize, it means they don't have the same、um, data type. But it seems like they have the same data type. So I have to check about this.、Hmm. Can I synchronize? Yeah. When you make sure you have the same data type, then you can synchronize. Okay, so one, so now you can see that、um, this is the score, and then you can see, let's say, for example, for let's say for this measure,、um, maybe the lower the better. So you can see that、um, to get to the to get to reach the benchmark, which is the lower bound here, three here. Uh, it seems like、um, for this、uh, in quarter one, we still we are we're still like、um, from five to three, we're still like two value less than our、uh, less than、uh, more than the benchmark. We want this to drop、um, to to the lower bound. However, in quarter two, let's say、um, it seems like the the lower bound has has dropped, but our but the actual performance has increased. So you see. We have a longer distance to, to 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 make our score to、uh, to to approach the lower bound. So this will help you to see like whether you, let's say you are improving your performance, maybe your business performance or your measure performance are are increasing or decreasing. In our cases, it is、um, decreasing, given that、um, for this let's say the measure is lower the better. So you can see that the distance means we're not doing a good job here. So yeah, so you can also change the color. So let's say if I create a calculated view to check if the score. Is greater or equal than five point five? Okay. So now let's drag the calculated field to the score. They should have two different color. Okay. So. Um, you should also drag、um, this true fall pill to the detail. Let's say if I can change this to color. Okay. So now you can make sure all the lower bound to white. And then falls to blue. And then this one to orange. Okay. So now you can see that you can not only see the difference between the scores and your lower bound, you can also see if、um, this is less than five point five, but this is greater than five point five. So you can not only see the distance between your lower bound, and then you can also see whether、uh, which one is.、Um, uh, Better or worse off, worse than your benchmark. So you can add the distance and color. So you can have three、uh, dimension, are、uh, three dimension in the visualization, and then you can expand this by、um, growing the chart、um, horizontally by the date format or by a、uh, by a time trend. So、um, thank you very much for watching, and this is how you create a lollipop chart. If you like the video, please subscribe and share it to your friends.、Um, thank you very much for watching.